Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Psylords, issue number seven. This is the only book out this week from Valiant Comics, so I'm just saying. Plus, first six issues, that trade paperback has to be dropping pretty soon. So grab this, wait, read the trade paperback, then go ahead and read this because, yeah, worth it. I'm not going to do five things about this book. I'm just going to talk about it because mostly what I'm going to be doing is talking about my speculation for what could possibly happen next because some seriously life-changing events are about to happen here in the next issue. Okay, but we are going to still talk about who made this book. So this is Chapter 7, The Sum of Fears. Fred Van Lent is the writer. Renardo, Renato Guedes is the artist. Hope I didn't butcher that name. Dave Sharp is the letterer. Color, the covers are by Al, Ariel Olivetti, Juan Jose Rip with Andrew Dalhouse, and Juan Doe, and another one by Scott Forbes. Okay, done. So, we start off with Exo Manowar. I may not know a whole lot about this character, but from the interaction that he had with, uh, what's her name here, Colonel Capshaw, I am able to determine that he is the most powerful character in the Valiant comics. If I'm wrong, it's the fault of this comic book. But if I'm right, it is totally the fault of this comic book. Because, yeah, that is the understanding that I have. This actually makes me want to read more about Exo Manowar. I don't think that there's an Exo Manowar comic book out right now. <laughs> like, there's, there's a lot going on with Valiant. And mind you, I'm really just getting into it. By the way, huge thanks to Valiant Comic Books for sending me these books early. Again, I refuse to review the book early until I actually have the physical copy in my hand. I'm more than happy to purchase it. And I think that you guys will too. They are, literally, they're a step beyond, all right? I'm loving this Valiant universe right now. Okay, so that being said, uh, Exo Man of War shows up and it's not to help. He thinks he's there to help, but Colonel Capture is like, you can't help. I don't think you understand. We're all about to die, but you might be able to save yourself because you're able to fly off and leave this planet and try and find some other planet, some other life, some place that you can, you know, live out, whatever. But no, we're, we're, we're dead. There's no way you could save us. That is one a hell of a way to have an introduction to a character. Because remember the words of Steve Byrne, every comic book that you make is someone's first comic book. This is the first real exposure that I have to Exo Manowar. And that was a hell of a way to introduce him. He is that powerful, but he can't stop this event. He also seems to be a little bit cocky. Okay. <laughs> okay. So he's kind of like Iron Man. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> anyway, so that was that was a big deal. That was a big deal. Now we wind up seeing what could very well be the new most powerful beings in the universe, at least the ones that I've been reading, and that is the Psylords. Now, they're not the actual Psylords. Turns out the Psylords are some higher level beings, one of which we actually get to meet here, and the art is freaking phenomenal. Like, it's what you'd imagine um, uh, Steve Ditko meant to draw Eternity as when he first drew Eternity. Whew, but the, you know, the, the, the technology just simply wasn't there to do it. Here... The tech is here, baby, and this is gorgeous. Wow, I love this. Um, basically, Van Lent is telling this story where these guys have to show up and multiple tasks here. They need to rescue Scion. I don't know if they need to, but they could use whatever knowledge that he has. He, they're more powerful than he is at this point already. Because their 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 power levels are just they're way above nine thousand at this point. If you get the DBZ reference. He just, like, they just straight walk in and they start dominating everybody around them. These, these guys are calling them the wardens and whatnot. Like, everybody recognizes, listen, as a whole, we may be able to hurt you guys, but you guys are way too powerful. Damn, that is a hell of a way to introduce these characters. Because at first, they didn't know anything about it. I remember issue one. I'm like, who are these jackasses? Who are these jabronis? You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, like they, they're just like, oh, we've got some cool powers, but we don't know how to use them. And all of a sudden, no, we we, we got a better understanding how to use them now. And we ready to whoop everybody's butt. Wow. <laughs> wow. So they rescue Scion. Gets us... Gives a little spittle to the face. That's not cool. That's not cool. That deserves a pimp slap, which did not happen, and I'm very disappointed. But at some point, he's going to get his up and comings. He finds a way off the planet. Very interesting way that he finds his way off the planet. I'm a little... Look, I already complimented the art, and I can keep on complimenting it. I am going to have to be fair, though, and I'm going to have to point out there's some things that don't work. There's one part where, apparently, 
the artist was supposed to draw, um, Renato was supposed to draw this being, this little creature being captured by, uh, by Scion. I don't know if he was camouflaged or if he was just laying there or if he just happened to be flying by or if he was invisible and he was caught. I don't know exactly what it is that was trying to be conveyed here. It's not the most important thing in the world, but when, I, but when a little detail stops you dead in your tracks and you're trying to figure out what's going on at the detriment of the story that you were otherwise completely engaged in, that hurts. That really hurts. Great art. The progression of that it's like five panels on one page. Uh, one panel could have been eliminated and retrofitted to be the story, you know, the, the image before and then the image after. I hate that I'm paying so much attention to this, man. But that's literally what it did to me. I'm looking at this like, where did he find this being? All right. Either way, the story of what this, this thing is able to do, oh, I'd keep it around. I would put this thing in my pocket. Yeah, I'd get a big old man bag, man bag and just like stuff them in there. Be like, oh, you're mine. I'm calling you Johnny. And we going out and we going to wreck some houses, man. We're get we going to do all sorts of damage in this universe. Wow. <laughs> that is a cool power. Anyhow, um, he's able to get away. This, of course, leads to the idea that we're going to have more interactions with Sion in the future. And we can maybe get you know, that pimp slap for that spit in the face. Anyhow, these guys, the, the, the Psy Lords, as they were, they beseech the actual Psy Lord and they're able to massively amplify their powers. Is it going to come with a price? Maybe, because that seems to be what's being argued here, but it doesn't look like it. So, so this could go either way and either way they do it. I'm sure this is going to be amazing, frightening for the characters, but amazing nonetheless. Now, what happens next is they show that between the previous issue and this issue, they're showing that this unidentified flying object, as far as the Earthlings are considered, this UFO, is crucial to the continued existence of multiple other races. Remember, it's not just the main race there or the main two races. There's also the subservient races of, of beings there too, right? So you're talking about multi-genocidal extinction level event if you destroy their device. At the same time, this device is headed straight to Earth and you're talking about extincting, you know, extincting. You're talking about Earth level extinction, you know, Earth extinction. Terran, shut up, all right? People are going to die. Somebody's got to die. Now, can the Psy Lords figure out a way around this? Boy, they better hope so, <laughs> because it's not looking good. <clears throat> now we're going to get into my speculation. I think the Earth is going to be hit. I think that with Exo Man of War there and these Psy Lords, they're going to be able to drastically slow down the impact of these things. And at least I'm kind of hoping this is where it's going to go, because I think that'll be interesting. Why am I thinking this? Why am I thinking this disastrous thing is going to happen that's going to wreck most of the, the Earth and put the entire Valiant Universe into flux? Well, the Valiant Universe, they've been advertising that two books are going to change the face, that the two books that you really have to be paying close attention to to understand the, what's about to happen in the Valiant Universe are Key 6, it was Killers, uh, but now it's called Key 6, uh, K-I hyphen, the number six, and this book, Psylords. I feel that the status quo is about to change soon. Look, if they just save everybody, okay, Fred Van Lent has told a great story. All right, he's told a great story. And then we just move on. Or the Earth winds up getting majorly impacted and all these other characters that are coming into play at this point are going to try and Bring us back to the best that we can have for the status quo. You're going to need to see Ninjak, Ninja K. You're going to need to see him. You're going to need to see Bloodsport. Uh, Blood oh, for crying out loud, Bloodshot. You need to see all these characters come into the forefront again and actually try to fix what was broken. You're also going to have these Psy Lords now. If they're not able to save the, the, the Earth, hmm. They're not going to be, the, 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 the public at large isn't going to be too happy with these new godlike beings who they themselves barely get along with each other. But if they're ostracized by everybody in society, what other choice do they have than to hang out with each other? What are they going to do? Join MI6? I mean, pss, 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? This, yeah, if that's actually what's about to happen next, oh, <laughs> it's a hell of a time to, to, you know, finally log on, so to speak, to the Valiant Universe, but I'd be down because I'd, I'd be in on the ground floor for this brand new change to the status quo of this comic book, of this uh, company, the Valiant Universe. So that also means that you could be in there with me. If you're a longtime Valiant reader, hey man, it is what it is. If you're not, this is your chance. And in my opinion, while Key 6 is an incredible, Killers is an incredible comic book, while a lot of these comic books that I'm reading are like, wow, you read those just to understand the characters. Just read this. See what's been happening so far. This is... Oh, man. I'm looking forward to this. Also kind of looking forward to this. I don't know what this is going to be all about. This is going to be uh, Dr. Tomorrow. It's like Speed Racer. I hope it's not going to suck. All right? The art tells me it's going to be a kitty book. I don't actually know. I'm just looking... Ju I'm judging a book by its cover, by the back cover. It's on the back cover, so it counts. Anyhow, um, yeah, looking forward to that. Looking forward to seeing a lot more Shadow Man sometime in the future because with all those dead people... Wow, imagine the flux on the uh, the underworld. What's that called again? The dead space? I forget what that's called. I think that's what it's called. Ooh, man. This is this has the potential to really shake things up, literally and figuratively. Guys, I am out. I hope I'm right. I hope I'm right. I'm hope I have a wooden desk. That counts. All right, guys, I'm done. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.